Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Mendelson from Eye Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida, and today I'm going to talk about sports vision. Sports vision is applicable to all of us, everyone from the stellar athlete to the person who is the exercise warrior to those who are the weekend warrior and even those like myself who like to get out there and exercise as frequently as we possibly can try to stay in shape. Sports vision quite simply is this. We want to maximize our quality of vision and help to maximize our performance doing athletics, doing different sporting events. So specifically what happens is step number one is simple. We want to get the level of vision in the right eye as crisp and sharp and clear as we possibly can. Step number two, we want to get the vision in the left eye as crisp and sharp and clear as we possibly can. The reason for both eyes, because of course we want the two eyes to work together. That gives the depth perception, that gives peripheral field of vision. So why is this important? Because when we have maximal and enhanced depth perception and peripheral field of vision, it helps with every activity with sporting that we do. I'll give you an example. Let's take the baseball player. A player playing out in the outfield. The ball hits the bat, the ball starts flying into the outfield. The outfielder needs to know. Do they run to the right, to the left, forward, backward? Where exactly do they need to go to meet the ball in order to catch the ball in the outfield? Another example, football. Let's take Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, the Pittsburgh Steeler wide receiver. He's going out deep. He's 40 yards downfield. The ball leaves the quarterback's hand. Should he be running more in this direction, more in that direction, forward, backward? Should he speed it up, slow it down so that the ball is a completion instead of an incomplete pass during a crucial game. That quality of vision, whether it's the superstar athlete like Antonio Brown or the mere mortals for all of us, it is vitally important. So sometimes we'll have a case where someone's vision is pretty good, but it is not perfect. If the sporting events are important to you, getting that quality of vision perfect can make a huge difference. So wearing glasses or wearing contact lenses can be that split second difference. Now, an interesting thing is even athletes of the highest caliber, those participating in the Olympics, there are definite variations in quality of vision. There are a lot of studies that show the archers, the softball players, their vision is absolutely outstanding. Well, in some other sports, boxing, track and field, Vision generally is pretty good, but not nearly the same caliber, and a lot of experts maintain that that same caliber of vision is not required for boxing or running a track and field event. But for those of us who are just getting our routine exercise or participating in sports, whether it's the youth leagues, middle school, high school, collegiate level, and then beyond, it is an important thing to maximize quality of vision. So within glasses, besides sharpening up vision, there are different blockers that can be put in to block the ultraviolet light rays, block glare, block haze. So especially participating in sports outdoors can be extraordinarily helpful. Many athletes prefer contact lenses. Now there's going into the realm of tinting the lenses to give that little extra beneficial touch. So for example, skiers. Skiers tend to prefer a yellow tint. Yellow tint helps with contrast sensitivity from the snow, and that way zooming down the ski slope where there are little ebbs and flows with the skiing, it will uh, make it that the skier will pick that up much quicker. There are other athletes, for example, the golfers. Gray or greenish gray tint is very helpful, bright sunny day, and they're out playing golf. Those playing baseball, those playing soccer, a lot of them have found an amber tint with the contact to be very helpful. Now, the tinting of the contacts for sports purposes, it has to be customized, but it's something that's very, very commonly done, and I think it does have a very big effect. In addition to improving quality of vision, we need to protect the eye. So there are certain sports where more contact, like for example, hockey, 
Of course, it's obligatory to have some type of hockey helmet or protection because a puck could blind an eye or a hockey stick could destroy an eye. But other sports such as field hockey, lacrosse, where most of the leagues, middle school, high school, it's obligatory to have sports goggles. More and more, we're going into even the youth leagues where it's highly recommended to have the sports goggles whether it's softball, baseball, uh, other sports, but it's something to strongly consider, excuse me, to have that protective wear when outdoors. And then the final topic is for sports outdoors, the vast majority of sports, wearing quality sunglass protection is crucially important. What happens, it's obvious. With the ultraviolet sun exposure, we can get eyelid cancers. We can get growths on the wall of the eye, called pinguaculus or pterygium. Sometimes they get larger and require surgery. We can have problems develop in the back of the eye, which are preventable, druse and macular degeneration. Sometimes even, God forbid, there's something called a melanoma. It's a cancer from the exposure. People are well aware it can be on our arms, our face, our forehead. We can get in the eye as well. So wearing sunglass protection is crucially important. Now, while most people try to do their best, unfortunately, over 90% of sunglasses sold in the United States have either zero protection or inadequate. You always want to make sure you have UV 400 blocker, polarization, front and back surface. I'm just going to quickly explain why front and back surface. Pretend that the camera that I'm looking at is the sun. If these sunglasses had only front surface protection while I'm looking towards the sun, I'd be beautifully protected. But the problem is, let's say hypothetically, these sunglasses have only front and not front and back. Sun's there, the camera. What happens when I'm going in the opposite direction? When I'm going in the opposite direction, the light rays from the sun hit the back surface, reflect in the eye, the eye gets charbroiled. And by the way, that's also a problem with clip-on sunglasses where you only have the protection up front. So therefore, they're only gonna work someone looking at the sun or the surrounding area. But if we're looking that way, that way, that way, or playing sports, or even just at a football game as a spectator sitting outside, you're not gonna have the protection. So in summary, maximizing vision is very important, whether it's with glasses, contact lenses, in the contact lens arena, we can tend to maximize performance. With glasses, there are a lot of very similar, comparable things we can do as well. Protective eyewear, very important for a lot of contact sports. And lastly, for all of us, from the youth to those of us who are a little bit older, when we're doing our outdoor activities, you want to make sure you have optimal sun protection. Thank you very much.